Good morning, good morning. We're going to get started in just a minute. We're gonna give it another 30 seconds or so for some of our late comers to join on. I have just about 11 o'clock, so we'll give it another 30 seconds um, and then we'll get started. We're super excited. So you have just enough time to grab your cup of coffee or your tea or a nice cup of water whatever is your pleasure as we get ready to go. All right, well, good morning once again. Welcome, welcome to our very first coffee chat with the Visiting Angels. We are so excited that you've decided to spend some time with us today. And there may be a few more people logging on as we get going, which is A-OK. -okay. I am excited that this is our first one. My name is Mary Ellen Wilson. I am your business development manager here at Visiting Angels. And we have just a wonderful uh, first coffee chat planned with all of you today. So this morning we're going to be very casual, uh, but we do have some really important information for you. So we're going to take the time to introduce you to our management staff, our marketing team and a few others. And uh, we're going to be talking to you about how we have prepared and how we're moving forward during this COVID, um, time of COVID, I guess we could call it a crisis, our COVID crisis, uh, how we have prepared both in the office and with our caregivers. We're going to spend some time talking to our uh, clinical nurse, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the COVID virus itself. Then we'll share some resources out in the community for you. We're also going to be talking about what we've been doing out in the community. And then what I'm sure you've all been waiting for is we're going to have a raffle to celebrate Mother's Day, which is coming up at the end of the week. So that raffle is going to take place at the end, right before our Q&A session. So you want to make sure you stick around to the very end. So to get us started, will you all please help me welcome Joan Ekapina, our Director of Services, who is going to start us off. Joan? Mary Ellen, thank you so much for that uh, great introduction and thank you everybody for joining us this morning. We know that some of you are working from home, so we appreciate your time with us. And even those who are not working, we just thank you for making the time to be with us here today. It's indeed a pleasure, like Mary Ellen said, this is our first coffee chat and we're really excited because we're going to have many more. Um, we are so grateful for all of you. Um, for being our clients, especially at this time. I am the Director of Services here, and it's been over 18 years with Visiting Angels, and I love it. The most part for me is being out in the community with our clients and visiting with them, checking on them, how they're doing, how their family members are doing. I love that part. Unfortunately, I can't do much of it right now, but I know that time is coming where we're going to be able to go back out and meet with you all again. Um, we have been having a lot of things to do here as we've prepared for this crisis or pandemic. It's not been easy, but I really want to assure you, our team has been working really hard. I mean, you see here, not all of us on the, from the photo, not all of us will be present here today for this coffee chat, but there are many of us who are working tirelessly in the background, making sure that our caregivers are ready, they are trained, getting the supplies for the PPE. We have had some challenges, honestly, like many other um, providers in home care, um, with getting 
the supplies for the masks, for the um, gloves and the face shields and the N95s, the sanitizer, you name it. So, but we've been very blessed. We're glad to announce that we've had um, a good quantity of masks and gloves and face shields and everything that we need for the PPE to take care of you, to ensure your safety. So rest assured, we're doing our best. I'm not gonna steal Mary's thunder, she, one of our nurses who will give you a little bit more information in that um, area. But most of our team is working remotely. I'm in the office today. Someone has to come in once in a while to check on things, but almost everybody is working remotely. So we've had a great um, experience, better than we thought. This is the first time this has happened, but it's turned out that it's working well. And thank you for your patience. Thank you for your cooperation where we've had to miss your phone call, but things are settling down and we believe things are going very well at this point. We have the masks being distributed or the PPEs being distributed to our caregivers. Some of you may have seen some of us come to your homes to drop off gloves and masks to make it easier for our caregivers who may not be able to come to the office to collect them. So thank you. And some of the clients who are in Zooming service will really appreciate that. We want to keep our caregivers working as much as we can so they can support their families. So thank you so much for resuming services. Like Mary Ellen said, we've been doing some work in the community, supporting the community. So I'm going to leave that for another team member to explain to you what we've done. So at this point, I'm not going to take much of your time. Thank you again for joining us. We hope to see you in the coming coffee chats. And I'll hand you back to Mary Ellen. Thank you again. Terrific. Thank you, Joan. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go around uh, and have each of our angels that are on today introduce themselves. They'll tell you their name, what their function is here on the team, and then a little fun fact about themselves. So let's get started right off with Rebecca. <laughs> Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and for our first coffee chat, I'm super excited to be here. I'm Rebecca Scheib, a registered nurse and the nursing manager on staff. My duties include overseeing our clinical staff and ensuring we're in compliance with all current nursing practices to include how care is provided to our clients and following CDC guidelines for infection control. A uh, fun fact about me is that I have been working in the nursing field for 20 years. Um, I'm originally from Tucson, Arizona, the city that gets more sun than any other U.S. city um, at 350 days per year of sun. And we also have more saguaro cactus surrounding our city than any place in the whole world. Um, and now to Grace. Thank you, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. My name is Grace Tevez. I am the operations manager of Visiting Angels. I lead the operations and resolve the day-to-day -day operational issues of the company. I collaborate with different teams to ensure seamless delivery of services. I make sure that we have a steady pipeline of human resources, policies and procedures are in place, and ensure the regulatory standards compliance. For almost nine years of working here, Visiting Angels has been my second family, and I am happy to be with a team of individuals who are passionate and committed to making a difference in the lives of those we serve. Personally, I love to travel. I love to do zip lines, snorkeling, and parasailing. Thank you, and I greatly appreciate you joining our coffee chat today. Let's now hear from Ellen. Good morning. My name is Ellen Tembo and I'm the Client Services Manager here at um, Visiting Angels where I have worked for um, 12 years. So it's a pleasure and really it's an honor to meet each and every one of you here today and to continue of being service to you. So I'm super excited to be attending this virtual um, coffee chat and I hope you will all enjoy it. So fun fact for me is um, last summer I had the privilege um, to travel to Zambia and I um, visited the Victoria Falls, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. And I also went to Dubai and visited the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. Thank you. And um, Amanda, over to you. 
Uh, hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this coffee chat. My name is Amanda, I'm one of the care coordinators. Our team is responsible for matching you with your perfect angel. Um, fun fact about me, I'm an avid golfer. I love summer. I play a lot of golf in the summer. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Hi, good morning. Thank you for joining our coffee chat. My name is Brittany. I'm the Quality Assurance Manager here at Visiting Angels. I have been with Visiting Angels for 12 years now. Um, I've always worked with seniors since I was a teenager and since I was able to work. I love working with seniors. Um, a fun fact about myself is that I was born and raised here in Montgomery County and I have a son who is turning four years old this month. Over to you, Jill. Hi, welcome to our coffee chat. I'm Jill Greenlee and I'm the intake coordinator. There's a good chance that I was the person you first spoke with when you called in for information about Visiting Angel Services. A fun fact about me is that I created a group on Facebook called, you know you grew up in downtown Silver Spring if dot dot dot, which now has over 4,200 members. Hi, good morning, this is Mo. I'm so glad that you're here with us today and I hope that you and your families are doing well. Um, I'm the home care consultant with Visiting Angels and I love my job because I get to work with seniors and try to make things a little bit easier for them and to help them remain in their homes. I miss being out on the road and uh, seeing everybody. A uh, little fun fact for me is when I'm not working at Visiting Angels, I'm, uh, I do tap dancing. Back to you. That, that was good, Mo. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Elaine Price, and um, I am a home care consultant as well at Visiting Angels. I've been with Visiting Angels since 2014, and I have 30 years experience in the senior care industry here in Montgomery County, where I was born and raised. Um, I certainly um, appreciate all of you showing up today, and I do again also miss coming into the field and seeing you. I know I've visited many of you and helped you get started with our services. A uh, fun fact about me is I have two sets of twin grandchildren, and yes, they're by the same daughter. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to our first coffee chat. I'm so excited you guys are here. I am Stephanie, and I am out of the Edgewater office. I am a client services client service coordinator and part of the marketing team. I've met many of you here in the Edgewater office uh, as we've helped you get started with our services. I do miss coming and visiting you guys and seeing you all. Um, hopefully the, that will resume soon. Um, a fun fact about me is I like to play in the dirt. I like to create fun, colorful flower pots for my porch and patio. And this summer, I'm going to take on a vegetable garden. So if I have an abundance of vegetables and it goes well, maybe I'll drop some vegetables by when I come to visit you. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Cerveny. I'm the clinical supervisor slash client services coordinator slash marketing slash case management. Um, I do wear a lot of hats here at Visiting Angels. Um, it's very nice to see all of you on our first coffee chat today. I know I've met probably a lot of you in person, either doing your initial intake or coming in for a supervisory visit. Um, so part of what I do, again, is the intake process, but I also um, deal with all the day-to-day -day clinical issues that come in here at the office. Um, I do some part of the marketing, um, not a whole lot, but some. I've um, been a nurse for almost 20 years now. So fun fact about me is in 2012, I retired from the United States Navy after 21 years. This was so awesome. I love hearing all the fun facts about our team. 
I'm actually the new kid on the block. I've only been here for three months. I am the business development manager. So I work with the marketing team and put together things like our coffee chat. Uh, so we're really, I'm really excited to be a part of this fabulous team. Fun fact about me today is my anniversary, my wedding anniversary. We have been married for 31 years. I know you're all wondering. Yes, I got married at 10. Hmm. Um, all right, so we really do love uh, working as a team and supporting our clients as well as our caregivers. So now I'm going to turn it back over to Mary, who's going to talk a little bit more about COVID and how we're keeping both our clients and our caregivers safe. So Mary, take it away. Thanks, Mary Ellen. Um, first of all, I just want to reiterate what Joan had said, that we did get some um, PPE in, so we did distribute gloves and masks to our caregivers, and I know this um, kind of puts some people at ease. I know not everybody because this is very stressful, but um, just to also reiterate, it's not necessary to wear a mask in the home setting at this point unless somebody is showing symptoms. Um, but uh, we just, again, want to put you at ease knowing that, you know, if you prefer your caregiver to wear a mask, you know, they're able to do so at this point. We understand these are very scary times for everybody, um, but just know that the safest place for everybody for you right now is in your home setting with a caregiver helping you out. Um, we have special protocols in place to keep everyone safe and our caregivers are trained and know what to do. So before I get into what we're doing here at Visiting Angels, just want to go over real quick some of the signs and symptoms of COVID-19, just in case you haven't heard them, um, or it's been a while since you've heard them, just to keep you up to date. And these are per the CDC guidelines. So symptoms that may appear two to 14 days after exposure would be a cough and shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. We also have to remember that this is um, the start of allergy season, so there may be a little bit of allergies in there that's um, causing this. But again, if you ever have any questions or any um, issues, please contact your doctor. Um, so other symptoms could include fever, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and new loss of taste or smell. Now understand this is not an all-inclusive list. This is just, you know, what the CDC has brought up as of um, today and, you know, what they have seen. But again, if you're ever in doubt, please contact your doctor. Also remember that information is always changing as we learn more about the virus. So to stay up to date, we do have a resource page that we're going to be bringing up soon. And I've um, placed on there two websites, one for Maryland, one for DC. Um, and you can just go to these websites and they're going to keep you up to date. Um, on all that information. So in order to keep our clients safe, our caregivers have been instructed to self-monitor um, and also keeping an eye on our clients. So what they're doing is they're taking their temperature one hour prior to their shift and will report any fevers, symptoms of the virus, or any other symptoms of illness to the office immediately. Um, if they are going into multiple homes, a lot of times they are monitoring themselves prior to going into each home setting. So if they're working every day, they're monitoring themselves every day. And they're actually um, screening our clients as well, especially the ones who are not able to, um, you know, have family members come to, to check on them or the ones who live alone. So if they do have any symptoms of the virus, um, you know, they are screened by either myself or another nurse and they're advised on how to proceed. So if they are exposed, um, confirmed or possible, or if they are exhibiting any signs, they are immediately instructed to quarantine for 14 days. Once that 14 day period has expired, I will contact the caregiver and uh, reevaluate. And if I'm found that it's safe for them to return to work, then I will direct them to do so. If more quarantine time is needed, they will continue to be evaluated until they are safe to return to work. Our caregivers are also monitoring members of their own household um, and you know they will let us know if they've had any possible or confirmed exposure or if their family members or roommates have any signs of the virus. So to ensure the safety and well-being of our clients, the caregivers are also monitoring them. Again, 
um, especially the clients who live by themselves or just don't have anybody that's available um, to, to kind of monitor them on a regular basis. So we are keeping our um, caregivers trained and up to date on all of the current CDC guidelines. So far, we've had two live webinars um, with wonderful attendance. The first one that we did was regarding our policies and pre procedures, because of course, this is all new, so we had to kind of come up with something, um, you know, based on the CDC guidelines. And then the second one, we went over how to properly put on and remove the personal protective equipment, which of course we all know we consider that PPE now. Um, we are communicating with them on a regular basis because we want to make sure that they are up to date on the CDC guidelines as well. Um, you know, as they say, knowledge is power. So, you know, the more information we can give to them, the safer that we can keep them and our clients. So we do understand the anxiety that comes along with having a caregiver coming into your home. Just know that we are doing whatever we can to keep you and our caregivers safe and that we are here 24 seven to answer your questions and your concerns. So again, thank you so much for joining us for this coffee chat. It was great to see everybody that has joined and I'm going to send it back to Mary Ellen. Terrific. Thank you, Mary. We all so appreciate how you, both you and Rebecca, keep us updated on all the guidelines and protocols coming down from the CDC to keep everybody safe. So terrific. Thank you, Mary. So while the marketing team has been busy keeping in touch with you via phone calls and uh, emails, we've also been busy out in the community. So now we have Stephanie, who is going to tell you just what we've been up to lately. Stephanie? Hi again. Um, here at Visiting Angels, we've been affected by the virus, just as so many other companies have. Um, but we feel it's really important to reach out and stay in touch and support um, our community and others at this time of need. So like Mary Ellen mentioned, and as you can see in these lovely pictures, um, myself, Mo, and Elaine have been out um, delivering support and supplies to our healthcare workers. Um, Mo has delivered pizzas to the nursing staffs at several of the hospitals in Montgomery County. Myself, I have delivered Panera lunches um, to our nursing and rehab facilities here in Anne Arundel County. And Elaine has been busy doing snack baskets to nursing homes in Montgomery County to keep their energy levels up for their uh, very intense shifts that they have these days. Um, we also have uh, delivered masks to the Ark of Montgomery County and we have uh, supported a food bank here in Anne Arundel County. So we find it very important to be out and helping those that are working very hard trying to help keep us all safe and healthy at this time of, uh, of need. Thank you so much, uh, Stephanie. Now we are going to talk to Elaine, who is going to share with us some different, uh, different links for resources that are available to you within our community. So I want to just tell you, Elaine is going to explain each of these. Don't worry about writing anything down. We are going to send you an email after our webinar that has the exact links for all of the different resources that you see. And by the way, I did see a couple hands go up. Please know that we are going to do a Q&A after, um, after we get through our program. So Elaine, please take it away. Okay. So uh, the first one here is the Senior Call Check Program. That is something that is in the state of Maryland and anybody is eligible to sign up for that. Again, you'll, you'll receive the information and what it does is you set it, set it up to um, send an automated call to yourself or your loved one on a daily basis. It will call you and if you answer, great. If you do not answer, it will give you a period of time before checking with you again. If you still don't respond, it's going to start calling the people that you've assigned on your list 
to follow up with you and make sure that you're okay. Um, so you can sign up for that. Anybody that lives in Maryland qualifies for that. The second thing on our list is the senior shopping hours. You've probably heard that some of the stores have hours just for seniors and pretty much all of them do. There is an enormous list that again, you'll have the link for and you can look for the stores that are in your area. It will give you each store, whether it be a grocery store or a Target, a pharmacy, a Walmart, and it's going to give you the addresses of the stores closest to you and give you the times. I hope you're early birds because they are all early hours, but it will give you the, usually the two hour time period where you can go shopping and not have to battle for supplies and not have to deal with um, the younger people that might, be ex might cause more exposure for you. So that's a great resource for you. Uh, the third one here is avoiding coronavirus scams. This is a really important one for you to take the time to um, go to the link and review. There, unfortunately, that's the time we live in. There are many scams out there already from fake vaccines to people trying to get a hold of your stimulus check. There's lots of different things that are, that are there and we, we, we just want you to avoid all of those scams altogether. If you're a family member, please go through it and review it with your, with your senior. If you're a senior, please, um, please review it because it's very tricky to navigate on your own but definitely uh, take the time to review everything on that link. The fourth one here is uh, about senior meals. There are many organizations out right now providing free senior meals. We, um, most of you are, are aware of Meals on Wheels program that can take some time to get into. They've, they've speeded up that process. They've put an all, all out call for all volunteers. So they are adding people to the Meals on Wheels program, but they also have new meal programs, such as one from Jessa, as well as many of the community centers are stepping up and they're, they're loaded with volunteers delivering these meals to you. Some that you can um, microwave and some that are more of a sandwich, but they are nice balanced meals that um, we want to make sure that no one is hungry. Um, so even if you have a friend, if it's not you, please make sure that everyone's uh, got a full belly. The fifth one here is the Montgomery County Respite Services Program. Uh, you may or may not have heard of it, but it is a nonprofit program for Montgomery County residents. There are uh, other respite services in other counties as well. Um, you'd look them up the same way but this will give you the link to ours here in Montgomery County. And what it does is provides respite for the primary caregiver. You cannot get these services if you are a senior living alone. You must have a caregiver that lives with you that needs the additional help. Um, they have lifted many of their regulations right now as far as the income um, cap and the number of hours you may receive. So even if you've had this program and your hours are exhausted, please check it out because you can still get granted additional hours for May and June, even though they don't re-up until uh, July. Uh, always keep in mind if you're not already using our services that Visiting Angels does provide caregiver services through this program, which means that you get a certain amount of hours and we would bill them directly for those hours. Uh, and you can supplement your own hours with them as well. Uh, so uh, definitely take the time to read into that and see what it's all about. The, um, the last one here is the coronavirus information and update links. Again, they're for DC and Maryland, as Mary mentioned earlier, the nurse. And uh, that is gonna give you the information to stay up to date with everything. Uh, what's going on in the community, what, uh, what our shutdowns are looking like, what our openings are looking like. And it just, it keeps you uh, informed at all times. It, it'll have the, the links to the main systems for that. Again, um, at Visiting Angels provides services through all of these things. If you have any trouble with 
or questions about getting through to these programs or any questions after, please feel free to call our office. Again, that's what the home care consultants can also help you with um, things in the community. And that would be again with Stephanie and Mo and myself, Elaine. Uh, you all have a home care consultant. You all have a home care consultant assigned to you. So don't, don't hesitate to call the office and ask more questions if you need be. Uh, and that will do it for the community resources. And I'll give it back to Mary Ellen. Wow, that is a lot. Thank you, Elaine. We all really appreciate that. I love that we live in a community that does have so many free resources for, uh, especially for our seniors. So that's terrific. Okay, we are just about ready to start wrapping things up. But before we do, I do want to let you know that, again, several of us have mentioned that this is but our very first coffee chat conversation. And we plan to do these every two weeks. And as a matter of fact, our next one is already scheduled. It is going to be on Wednesday, May 20th at 11 a.m. We are going to have a very special guest with us, and that is, as you can see, Topper Shutt, meteorologist on WUSA 9. I'm sure some of you are familiar with that face. So we're going to have a lot of fun with Topper as I interview him about uh, his career, fun TV talks and weather. So please do plan to join us, and of course, we'll be sending you your invitation registration link. All right, so before we get to questions, I know we've all been waiting for our raffle. So let's see here if I can change my screen. And I am going to send it back over to Joan, who gets uh, the honors. So Joan, go ahead. Hello, everybody. This is the fun part, right? Really excited. I have my names here in this little jar and I'm gonna be calling out three lucky winners to this beautiful arrangement from a local florist here in Montgomery County. Okay, so I am digging through to find the first lucky winner. And we have Lori H. Lori H. Congratulations, Lori. So you'll be receiving your bouquet, your beautiful arrangement of flowers. Okay. The next one. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the switch over to me so everybody can see me pull the block it. Participant. Okay, here we go. All right, so for number two, we have Gail P. Gail. Gail is the second lucky winner. Congratulations, Gail. And for the third one, My God, we have, <laughs> we have Ed, Ed B, Ed B. Yay, congratulations, Lori, um, Ed, and Gail. Congratulations and enjoy your Mother's Day, everybody. We hope that you really cherishes flowers. And I will pass you back over to Mary Ellen. Thank you. So, so fun. Congratulations. Thank you, Joan, for pulling our lucky winners. That was so fun. Sorry, I tried to switch my slide. 
and I hit mute the mute button. This is what happens when you're live. Okay, so we are going to go to some Q&A. So here's how the, this is going to work. If you would like to, if you have a question for any of us, you will see that there is a chat function. So you can um, type in your question or you can raise your hand and we and then we can unmute you. It's probably easier if you just um, go ahead and type it in. So I do see a comment already from Gail. She's saying, yay, thank you. Can we send to my mom? Of course we can, Gail. We'll talk to you about that. We'll get with you on that. Congratulations. And I do see a question. Okay, so the question from Ida is, I have had my uh, service on hold and I am ready now to have uh, Mary come back and work with me. So what do I need to do? Well, that's a great question. We love that question. Why don't, uh, Ellen, would you like to answer that one? Yes, sure, Mary Ellen. And uh, thank you for that question. So I'd like to say, um, welcome back to Visiting Angels um, in advance. And you'll be happy to know that, um, you know, as we speak, we have uh, clients that are actually already uh, resuming services with us. So all you would need to do is uh, you would need to get in touch with your um, care coordinator or anybody in case management, uh, as a matter of fact, can help you. And remember, we are um, 247. So you could just call 301-355-6578 and um, you will get assistance there. So your care, your care coordinator will then um, coordinate um, your services. She'll get in touch with the caregiver and uh, also make sure that you have a current assessment on file. And um, then you'll be ready to start. Thank you. Looks like once again, I was muted while I was talking. Good thing this didn't happen at the beginning. You all would have hung up on us. All right. So I am going to ask Joan, I know that you took some of the question. Were there any that were submitted prior to, uh, prior to the coffee chat before we, before we see if there are any additional live questions? And you have to unmute that pesky mute button. Yes. So you're right. I think one that was that came in was a concern about you know the caregivers, you know how we're making sh sure that the caregivers are okay to come back, especially for those who have resumed services. And like we heard from the nurse and from Ellen, we are checking them, we are screening them, they're self-screening as well um an hour before they go to work so they've been screened we have the equipment we have the masks and the um gloves we even have face masks we have some gowns we have sanitizers um and thanks to one of our um family one of our clients that we serve we're able to get the the treasured sanitizers now so we do have sanitizers so our caregivers are ready they've received the the training and we are here to support them. We are available 24 seven. So that shouldn't be a problem really. It should be as easy as um, calling the care coordinator or the case management team, like um, Ellen mentioned earlier. Thank you. Great. Were there any other questions? And now I guess we can also turn it over to live questions. If anyone has a question, either type it in the chat window, or I think there's a feature called Q&A where you can click on that and it raises your hand. And I'm just looking, uh, it says, oh, thank you, Lori. Lori says it was nice to match the voices to faces. Thank you for doing this, Zoom. You are so welcome and there's more to come. We have a lot of fun topics coming up. Um, as I mentioned, we have Topper joining me next time. We will also be uh, talking to a uh, yoga instructor about how to be stress-free. We will probably be doing bingo one day and uh, maybe Trivial Pursuit. So we have a lot of fun things coming up. 
Oh, and before I forget, just like we did this floral uh, raffle for all of you, we also have a Mother's Day contest going on for our caregivers. How could I forget to mention that? So what they are doing is sending in pictures of their moms or with them and their children. Some of them are writing short little essays about being a mom. And we would love to have some of our clients actually help us be judges. So if you are interested in being a judge with us, all you have to do is let us know in the chat box or you can even call us after the webinar. Uh, coffee chat and we will definitely hook you up with that so that would be a lot of fun all right let's see if there are any other i don't see oh thank you for the beautiful flowers you are very welcome okay i am not seeing any additional questions and did we have any hands raised? Let me just look on there. No, I think we're good to go. So again, thank you so much everyone for joining us. Thank you to our team. We really are um, just so excited to be able to talk to you and have you see us and meet us. We can't wait to um, get back to business as usual but between now and then we'll be coming to you every two weeks and go have a great day and enjoy thank you bye-bye